So in this video, I will uh, show quick steps on how to create uh, a cascade select question. Uh, this is when you want to be able to uh, filter your uh, list of selection based on the previous question. For example, you have a list of regions and uh, districts and then facilities. So you want to be able to uh, select uh, district based on the region you selected on the previous question and select the facility based on the uh, district uh, so that it makes it easier for the list of facilities uh, that could be short. Uh, so let me show you quickly how to do it. Uh, so we do this by uh, uh, doing, by creating uh, a simple Excel uh, in a standard format that I will show here. So to create that, you open an uh, Excel sheet like this. So you create three uh, main columns. You must have this uh, main column, which is list name, which is actually uh, the format for uh, choices uh, when creating uh, 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 an ODK form or COBOL correct uh, form uh, using Excel. So you have to uh, abide to this standard. You must have a list name, a name, uh, and then a label. So make sure uh, they are all in small letters. So I have now my list of uh, regions and districts here. Okay, let me get them from here. So now I have this list here. I will now put it here. So you have your list, you know, of what you want to put in the uh, cascade select. So I have my three uh, regions. I have, uh, uh, this is how many, these are four districts and these are the facilities. So I want to be able, when I select Jombe, it will only show me the uh, uh, facilities in Jombe. So uh, what you do uh, under the name, under the label, actually it's supposed to be under the label, you put the label, what is supposed to be seen by the data collector is, is what you put under the label. On the name, you give a name, you give, you can use a, a string, you, for example, you can use Iringa, this is like an ID or you can use numbers, so let me use numbers. So I, I give uh, Iringa ID of one, Jombe of two and Mologolo of three. So that's my regions. So these three are my regions. Now I'm creating a list of uh, districts. I can use the same because these are two different uh, lists. So I use one for Kilolo as a district. This is two, this is three, this is four. Yeah, that's the end of district. Then I create uh, a list of uh, facilities. I'll give them IDs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as I said, these are IDs for these uh, list uh, or items. So each item in a group must be unique. So for example, for the region, uh, when I go to the region, it's only Iringa, which has ID of one. So you have to make sure this is, uh, is uh, there, the two. Now, uh, next you create now the list name. The list name is like the, the it's like the question name. You want to select uh, one region from uh, these three choices. So these are the choices. The list name here, it is region. You can use any other text, but you should refer to that list always uh, in that name. So for my case, I call these regions. So these are the regions. Uh, so these are case sensitive, so make sure to use uh, same case. So this, so this list, these ones, uh, these are regions. So you may have as many as you want and 
the second one, these are districts. So I write district. I can just copy the district up to here. So this is the list of district. So these, these four here are districts. Now here, these are facilities. These are facilities. I will just copy this. So if I want to explain my Excel here is how I have uh, three lists, a list of regions, district, and the facility. So uh, I want to be able to select a facility based on the district and the district based on the region. You see now. So I want to be able to select uh, district based on the region. So I put, I link the district to the mother region. So the first list doesn't have to be linked because this will not be filtered. The first list won't be filtered. So I just link the second uh, list. It is dependent on the uh, first list. So here I add region. And, and now I want to map each district to a region. So now I want to know uh, to which region Kilolo district belong. This Kilolo belong to Ilinga, so I'll put Ilinga ID here. That means Kilolo belongs to Ilinga. That's the meaning. I'll put in region here and the ID here. Same Ilinga also belong to Ilinga, Ilinga Mjini. Uh, Wangingombe belong to Jombe, so this is number two yeah and kilosa this belong to morogoro so now this my excel tells me that ilinga belong uh, kilolo belongs to ilinga region uh ilinga mjini also belong to ilinga region wangingombe belongs to njombe kilosa belongs to uh, morogoro so the next is now facilities i have also to map a facility to a district as it states it's a cascading so after uh, selecting uh, a region you now see only the list of uh, uh, district belong to that region and once you select a district you only see facility that belong to uh, that district so i'll add another column here and this will be called the district Make sure the name you are putting here is the same as the, the list name here. So if you put a different thing here, it won't be linked. So this is how you actually link. So now we have Kilosa, this belong to Kilosa district, and the Kilosa is number four. It's ID, this is four. Uh, Morogoro Arara H, this belong to, let's say it belong to, uh, uh, to Kilosa as well. Uh, Kilolo dispenser, this belongs to Kilolo uh, district. This is number one. Wangingombe dispenser, this belongs to Wangingombe, uh, which is number three. Uh, Njombe belongs to Wangingombe, three. Uh, Kilolo hospital belongs to Kilolo, one, number one. Ilinga RRH, it belongs to Ilinga Mjini, this is number two. Yes, so now I'm done with my list. Uh, so what I do now, I just copy this. I copy and come. Uh, so uh, in ODK Cobo Toolbox, there is a way to make that. So I'll find my project here. My, uh, my training project here. So say edit. So when I say edit, uh, yes, training here, then edit. So I want to add a question here. So I want to add, insert a cascading select question. I just click here and paste whatever I copy there. So it will list it in this way. List name, name, label, region, district. So this is how it actually link uh, each uh, lower level to the uh, upper level. Then I click done. Now you will see my questions are listed here. So this is the first question second question third question and I save so let me try to collect data with this 
so to be able to use this uh, I will have to deploy I will have to redeploy this project to be able uh, like making the changes available so I say okay so if I redeploy this it will tell me that uh, it has been deployed now I can actually uh, collect data with this with this project um, I go to so here so let me copy this to be able to collect data from my web here just go and paste it here so this is my form let's see how it looks like Here we are. So name of the data collect, data collection site. This is a test site. Uh, region. We see our regions as per uh, our our list, and the district is not uh, listing anything because this is not selected. So now let me select Iringa. Now it shows me uh, Iringa, um, Gini, and Ipilolo. Those are the district in Iringa. What if I select Jombe? Only one district, Orogolo, the same. So, Iringa, let me see Iringa. And now you see, uh, if I go to Iringa, I only see Iringa RRH facility. If I go to Kilolo, I see this uh, facility. So, now uh, uh, I'm done. So, that's how you can actually uh, create uh, a cascade select question. Thank you.